Hello, Gemini. This will be your January 2019. And after I do the January reading, I will stop and I will start another video that will be for your 2019 forecast. Um, we'll use this deck for the monthly reading, which is the Egyptian Cure deck. It's very got all this gold in there I really like um, and so Gemini is an air sign and it rules the third house of communication and it's a mutable sign and is governed by the planet Mercury Also, um, I wanted to mention that I'm wearing this mask because it's allergy season here in California. It's <laughs> always allergy season somewhere. So let's start with this card represents you. And represents where you are right now, where you'll be in January. This card is, it's speculation. Um, it's about you see that he's got uh, livestock here, and on the other side, he's weighing it against these coins, and they're perfectly balanced. But um, in your case, it's inverse. And actually, this card has been coming up for uh, a lot of different signs, so it's interesting. The way that I've been reading it is as someone not really coming into their own true value, maybe being undervalued, uh, but um, also Mercury that rules your sign is uh, rules this card as well have to pull some more cards before I can really give you a good determination. This is crossing you, um, so I won't read it upright or in verse. City is all about um, She's got one hand and a leaf in the other, a frond, and um, like a fan. And up here at the top of the card, you have either Isis or Hathor. Um, and it, this card is about being very capable, but kind of using that to your advantage, maybe in a way that might be unfair to others. So maybe 
Maybe you're not valuing others fairly. Uh, let's go to the goal or destiny. This is arts and science, and it's in verse. Um, I don't know if this has to do with your education. This man is a scribe. Um, and this baboon represents Thoth, the god of wisdom. Um, huh. But it seems like, hmm, it seems like there's a lot going on here. And it's very difficult for me to tell it's you undervaluing yourself or undervaluing others or others undervaluing you or um, it just seems like you're being held back in the field of art and science uh, if you're a creator I guess it could be different for a lot of different people. You know, this is a general reading, so it's going to be for all Gemini sun moon rising, and it's bound to be a little bit uh, vague at times. Let's see if any of these other cards will help. So this is in the past. And that was the unexpected. Man, that is really upright, isn't it? You've got this guy up here <coughs> with two feathers and looking backward. Uh, and this archer is standing right over this scorpion. He has no idea that it's there. So definitely you were hit by something that you didn't see coming. And what's going on right now? You're going through a renewal process. Um, this is kind of like the judgment card, which is like a spiritual verdict, more so than like the justice card, which is more like the mundane world. Um, so, resurrection, you've got this pillar down here of the life that's kind of like the the ba up here which is flying over the physical form which is deceased and the pillar kind of rooting all of us in the ground so it looks like you are going through some kind of a reckoning but it's good it's upright um and, oh, so this is definitely a dark night of the soul. You've got this woman here in mourning, and inverse, this is a very strong card. Uh, so I'm going to shuffle the cards again and see what else is happening because <coughs> I'm so sorry uh, I do have a lot of congestion because of my allergy any of you out there I really sympathize and I have allergies everywhere I go I can't go anywhere to get, a get away from them going to change uh, the layout a little bit. The meanings won't change, of course, but I just want to have these laid out in a uniform way.
this will make a big difference when I go back and do the 2019 overlay. Okay, so um, I'm sure you are wondering, well, like, does this make it not a Celtic cross? But it, the meanings of the cards are the same. It'll be, it'll be fine. This is the past. This is the future. And I'm going to lay the next four cards out here. I did have a thought while I was shuffling, which is that um, sometimes when you're in a production, uh, you end up losing things that aren't right for you. So that might be part of it too. And that's something to bear in mind. Um, but let me draw some more cards and um, and kind of see where this is going. So this card, the laborer, especially in the inverse, is all about hard work with little profit. Um, so now I'm starting to see that probably you're not being fairly valued there's going to be loss as a result of that and a really dark time for you. That you're being vastly undervalued, but that you do have a very strong skill set. Um, and then this next card is all about how other people interact with you. And that is Do they treat you like an idiot? <laughs> um, so the Fool card is definitely about approaching situations from a place of objectivity, blind objectivity. Um, but when it's inverse like this, that kind of tells me in this position that people around you are kind of treating you like an idiot. I really don't think that's fair. I mean, not all of you out there can be that big of an idiot, especially if the card is coming out like this. I 
you've got this card crossing you, you probably, you probably are being treated uh, kind of poorly in your place of work. <laughs> and I get here that it's more like a career path, this job. Maybe uh, this is a job that you really wanted or that you saw as an opportunity to grow in your career. This next card is all about your hopes and fears. And this card is Rebirth. It's the last card in this deck. And in verse like this, it's all about stagnation. It's about these crops withering and dying. And that's what you fear happening. Now, I'm going to draw the final card for this part of the reading. This is the January 2019 Gemini Sun Moon Rising Tarot Spread. But I'm going to stop this video after this last card. And then I'm going to do the next video will be all of 2019. And I'll be using this deck of cards to do a 12 houses spread over the Celtic cross spread. And we can kind of see how the cards interact. And it'll kind of give you a better idea of what to expect from your whole year. So the last card that we have is... Oh man, well at least it's not in verse. Uh, these are two warring factions, and actually neither of them is Egyptian. I don't know if you've noticed, but this is the Egyptian Skir. Um, so it's an ancient Egypt-themed deck. Um, and this is my first tarot deck my mom bought for me in New Orleans when I was like nine. So that's how long I've been studying the tarot. And as you can see, this is an unsuited deck. So you get all of these really great minor arcana cards that are themed. Um, and this card hostility is all about, I think these are a sea people and then probably the Hittites are also on this card. They were two enemies of the Egyptians and obviously enemies of each other. So, there's a lot of animosity in this card. Um, I would really reconsider where you are. Um, and it looks like you are doing that. Looks like you got hit with something unexpected. But now you're, you're reevaluating. This is very good. Um, but you are going to have to go through a rough time in the near future um, and hopefully that will only be in January and not last all of 2019 